was hungry, now when the game turned greedy. Was known to be needy, now was people that need me. Battling up the dead because I What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. And welcome to the first mic'd up episode on YouTube in Madden 25 on the next gen console. I actually did this before for the NCAA 14 Road to Glory I had with um, Quincy Bluntman. He was playing the D-line and these juke moves are something serious now with Daniel Taylor. He definitely improved in the offseason, which is going to help the Dolphins a lot. Which is going to help the Dolphins out a lot. And you can see the new offensive linemen. We only have about two new ones. And hopefully they can do the, a good job this season. Because last year, offensive line, you know they were inconsistent. They did good some games, and then the other games they just took off. But back to this mic'd up series. Now, I did it in NCAA 14. And it, it was a it was pretty good. I like doing it. It added something more to my videos. And if you want to go see them, all the NCAA 14 videos are still up. So you just kind of have to look further down in my channel. You can see we get a nice run by, by Daniel Taylor right oh, there. Oh, yeah, man. I like them screens. I like them screens. And that's the first thing what you hear is my, um, Daniel Taylor saying that he likes them screens, man. You all hear him a lot this game. You get a lot. You ref, man. Y'all stepping on my face mask. Man. Damn. Got steps. Somebody stepped on his face mask. So yeah, he's he doing a lot, man. He do a lot of talking in this game. But I don't think anybody talked more trash than Quincy Blunt in NCAA. Like, it was his high school year, and they already had him mic'd up. Like, people already had microphones in his helmet. They wanted to see what he was going to say. But on this run right here, we get down, and look at this. Look. Get off me, dog. They, they wouldn't even try to let Daniel Taylor up. They were trying to keep him down on the ground. But we do score a touchdown right here. And that's the first score of the game. Ah, let's go, man. They don't want it. They don't want it. You know, he's celebrating with his teammates, you know. He like everybody on the team. He really likes his offensive line, and that's who he likes to think the most. So his first rushing touchdown of the game puts the Dolphins up 14-7. to And now we have the ball back, and we're trying to run. And look at this, man. Damn, man, you got to move quicker than that. They're going to have to move quicker. He was try talking to the um his lead blocker on that play, and the screen gets blocked right there by the Giants' D-line. It, they Giants are trying to kick up right now. The lead blogger let, got a uh, mental mistake, not moving fast enough, and now the Giants made a play, but they ended up not doing anything. So we still on second and eight. Give Daniel Taylor the ball. Big hole over the middle, and the juke move makes number 27 look silly. He just he missed. The, I don't know which way he thought Daniel Taylor was. He dove the wrong way, and Tannehill throws a nice pass to Charles Clay. Gets us another first down off of that play action. And we go for another screen right here. We got another screen coming. And it's too many, too many chop blocks right there. I mean, you need to get on at least on one person. We would have been going way um way longer down the field. But Tannehill, he's just trying to get a touchdown right now. It's right before halftime. But the Giants defense is able to hold out. Daniel Taylor coming out, kick return in the second half. He just ran straight into the pile. He's just trying to get his strength up, man. He got his jukes down right, so he can be juking people now. But after this run right here, he knows he got to be tired. He's getting his strength up, and he's throwing people off of him. And I don't know who this Giants coach is, but it's not Tom Coughlin. They do a wildcat with Daniel Taylor, and look at the blocking. It looked pretty good, and John Beeson with his speed comes out to make the hit, stopping Daniel Taylor from getting that touchdown. So that run puts Daniel Taylor over 100 yards, and it's already a good game for him. Wallace catching the pass wide open on third down. It's his first catch of the game. And you see Daniel Taylor, he do a swing screen right there, and he uses his speed to try to get the edge, and it gets the Dolphins to a second and one. Ends up being third and one after a bad play by Tannehill, and then we scored the touchdown. Like, let's... Go. That one was for you, Q. And he's saying that one was for Quincy, man. He, he got to thank Quincy a lot. Quincy really helped him get in the league and gave him a place to stay when he is his first year. So we over here doing a wildcat again. And the who is that? Is just missed the block. He missed the block. It would have been a touchdown run, but they ended up missing the block. And he's looking fighting for yards. He's throwing people off of him, spinning around, trying to get the first down. But on third and one, they give the ball to Dale again. He's doing juke moves, running right into his blockers, but he's doing a pretty good job, man. He's definitely maturing as a running back and knowing how to follow his blockers now. He didn't really trust them as much. 
as his first year because you know he ain't really know him. He just hopped on the team and now he pull off the read option with Tannehill and he's trying to get his jukes going. But he's just juked right into a defender. So we got the first down. After the two bad plays, Ryan Tannehill got sacked. It's third and 15. He throws it to, who is that? I don't even know where that was. But it puts us to a fourth and six. It's a close game. Coach is drawing up a play for Tannehill. So you know we going for it. Now we coming out. Daniel Taylor, he has the wheel route on this play. Fourth down. Tannehill throws it to Taylor. Oh my God. That truck stick was amazing on fourth down. I was thinking if Daniel Taylor would have did that, they would have got it. But on the next play, Daniel Taylor flips into the end zone. Pretty nice. Wow, man. Ah, man. Gronk spike, dog. <laughs> Said Gronk spike, but a pretty nice touchdown for Daniel Taylor. Puts them up by 10. And we end up getting the ball back. Tannehill running that veer option. And look at it. They're calling timeouts. There's, not, there's no coming back right now. So here we go. We're coming out in this heavy formation and look at the dive by Daniel Taylor now you want the ball tell your team to see me God, taunting, the, taunting the wow he's taunting the giant stadium fans and yeah, you gotta go see him and he jumped right over the line his own signature leap of faith right there well that basically ended the game man so the game ended don't know who that Giants coach is but game made it 38 to 21 and it's a pretty good first game of the um, first game of the season. And he surely has a gut. But I wonder what happened to Tom Coughlin. Did he retire or did he get fired or something? But Daniel Taylor's not even the player of the game. It's Jamar Taylor or whatever that was, man. I don't know him. But player of the game is Daniel Taylor. But this video is coming to an end. Nice player of the game right here. So always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.